I keep writing, deleting, I don't know what to say. But I remember how I met Bray. I met him at my trial, WWE 2010. Uh, you know, when everybody gets in the ring, like before the show, and everybody's kind of trying new moves and, you know, trying to figure things out. And I was just an extra on the outside. And I remember Taker called me in the ring because Bray wanted to try some new moves. So uh, that's how I got to meet Bray for the first time, Husky Harris at the time, I believe it was. And I got to sit in the corner and he gave me that big cannonball over and over and over until Taker was happy with it. <laughs> Man. But he was such a nice guy because, you know, he, was, uh, he took care of me, of course, never hurt me, never did anything. I got signed to WWE, went about a year later to FCW down in Florida. And I never expected anybody to remember me. You know, I was there for like a brief 30 seconds or 30 minutes or whatever it was at the tryout. But I remember Bray or Wyndham, as soon as he saw me, he was like, hey, I remember you. You were, you know, you were at SummerSlam. You know, I did all these moves. And that made me just feel so good, man, because... You know, especially going a new guy in a, in a WWE developmental, like, you know, and all you hear is like people step on toes and like trying to t get your job and you feel insecure as soon as you get there. Especially me, when I was working just like maybe three years in the business, I was green as a grass. But Bray just saying that just made me so much more like welcomed. And that's who he was, man. He was a guy who it just made you feel welcomed it was so like he could be so gentle he can be so aggressive at the same time but he you can have any kind of conversation with him his brain never stopped working and you know just I remember I just showed my wife like one of my first matches in FCW was against Bray <laughs> and man so many memories but yeah not a sad day very sad day we all love Bray. We love your family. We're going to miss you, my man. Rest easy. Rest in peace. Say hello to Brody. And we'll see you when the time is right. I think, he said, I think he said something else. Hey, look at this. Well, first of all, look at this. Second of all, look at that. And third of all, look at this. We are watching Surreal Life. Last episode right now, VH1. Season finale. Season finale. Season finale, several episodes. And the one before that, I was featured. Yes. Probably is going to be the highest rated one. No big deal. Candy Championship um, on VH1. For real life. Go watch it. Go watch the last episode. If not, you can watch the rerun. There's Manny. I really want to hang out with Malcolm, though. What's his name? I know, but what's his name? Frankie. I want to hang out with him. I was such a big fan of his show. You know, even in Bulgaria, he was over. But I still haven't had that opportunity. We got all the family here. Hey, Joy. Joy, say hi. Joy. Joy. Okay. Hey, Joy. Here's Charlie. Charlie Bay. And Pickles is just going to town still. Pickles hasn't seen me in a while. Mm -hmm. But anyways, go watch. CJ, tell him. Go watch. Yay. Go watch. Hashtag no makeup. <laughs> Canada, what's up, Canada? It's my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Mr. 91. Miss you wrestling in general. It's okay. Today, it's not about wrestling. Today, it's about the surreal life. When you're coming back, Mira, awesome. East New York. Yes, East New York was great. <laughs> what? Look how pretty you are. Oh my god, you're so sweet. You're so pretty. No.
she's so pretty makeup no makeup in the middle of the night in the morning in the afternoon she's always pretty i watched blood sport again in four million times heck yeah blood sport brother and kickboxer best but look at this you want to see one of our trees since we already started christmas since it's our favorite holiday tell them cj Oh yeah. <laughs> Here we go. You ready for this? <laughs> I, I kind of want a new theme though. But I do love it. Second turn. Oh, Kip Sabian. Hello. I would like to. What, what did you say? Hold on. Let me go back. Hello. I would like to drop to say hi. I miss you. Oh man, I miss you, bud. Kip is my guy. Kip, look at my tree. One of my trees. We are still mourning and also pay tributes to the legend that is uh, Bray who actually passed away at the age of 36. We've seen so many people from the wrestling spheres or the wrestling world uh, coming out on social media to also pay their tributes to uh, the legend that is Bray Watt who actually passed on unexpectedly at the age of 36. So the wrestler passed away unexpectedly on Thursday and this actually was confirmed by the WWE chief and content creator that is Paul uh, commonly known as Triple H uh, who actually came out and revealed to the whole world this breaking sad news that Bray had actually passed on unexpectedly. Um, so we are seeing so many um, wrestlers uh, actually coming out in a very devastating, devastative and of course a somber and emotional mode paying their tributes to this legend. We saw, like you've seen on the screen, um, another legend that is Miroslav uh, Barinyashev, uh, commonly known as um, Toby, 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 Toby actually also paying his tributes. He said in his own words that he was really very close to um, the legend that is Bray and he's really very heartbroken. In an Instagram video like I've given you in, in, the, um, in the clip at the beginning of this video, he came out and actually poured his heart out um, paying tributes and also commemorating the works and impact Bray left on this very sweet world so we also saw John Cena we saw Dwayne Johnson also coming out paying his tributes and uh, then it was also another legend saying that he, he's been very cool and a rare character which is hard to create in our crazy world of professional wrestling um, he was still processing losing the greatest of all and that was by the way um, the statement that was actually uh, revealed via uh, social media to be specific on Twitter or X and it was made by none other than uh, the legend that is uh, John Cena having actually seen the devastating news of the passing on of Bray. So actually personally I was still processing as a fan of wrestling I was still processing the passing on of Terry Funk just a few days ago and then all of a sudden I saw this very devastating and heartbreaking news. It was really very very tough to handle seeing such a very young man actually being announced dead so we'll be still coming out to pay tributes um, uh, sending messages of condolences prayers to the family because Bray left a very young family um, he was really very close with his wife and of course the children two children so it's really very very tough in this exact moment in time but of course um, we'll be coming out with the funeral and memorial service updates in case the family avails them in this moment in time all we can say is rest in power the king that is Bray Watts